Hey guys, so it's currently the 10th of June as I film this and by the time I upload it it's going to be just gone the middle of June which means it will be the middle of the year. So what better time to do the mid-year book freak out tag than right now. So I'm just going to get right into it instead of waffling and just get on with the tag. Question number one is the best book you've read so far in 2018. Jay Kristoff's Nevernight hands down. I don't even have to think about that one, Nevernight. It was amazing and mind-blowing and I read it in like two days I think I literally sped through that book it was amazing and I can't get over it to be honest question number two the best sequel you've read so far in 2018 and for that is got to be Deadpool and Spider-Man side pieces I wasn't that keen on the first one isn't it bromantic because I felt like the storyline was a little bit all over the place and I didn't quite know what was going on but this one was hilarious it was five mini stories all in one sort of telling quite a lot of different adventures of Spider-Man and Deadpool and they had one where they went to Hollywood and they name dropped Ryan Reynolds they took the mick out of the X-Men you saw Doctor Strange in the background and you had like sighted stories where they're fighting giant monsters and fighting Santa and things it was just amazing I laughed so hard and I just generally really really love this one question number three a new release you haven't read yet but really want to and is there any other answer apart from the beast's heart here I just bought this book at the beginning of May and I haven't gotten to it yet I've wanted to read it for two years and I'm obsessed with it I haven't read it yet but the concept and everything is just oh it sounds so good and I am desperate to read it and really want to read it as soon as possible question number four the most anticipated release for the second half of the year vengeful by ve schwab hands down i haven't even read vicious yet but it's about villains and murder and it's by ve schwab and it basically is just a checklist of everything i love so i'm desperate to read it but i have no money to buy the sequel so i don't want to read it now and then go oh god I can't buy the sequel so I'm kind of waiting till I possibly get some money but at the same time I'm kind of waiting till I can go up to London to get the US hardcovers because I prefer the US hardcovers but either way I'm so excited for Ventral to come out I don't know when I'll get to read it but I am so so excited for Ventral you have no idea question number five biggest disappointment it's Dark Materials book three, hands down. I really liked the first two, The Golden Compass and The Amber Spyglass. The third one, which name has completely escaped me, I DNF'd because it just went on a complete tangent that made no sense to do. And it's like the storyline completely left at that point and it was more sort of just mindlessly bashing religion and following a side character who'd had like this tiniest part in the second book in the middle of this weird dimension with elephant type animals on wheels and I was like what just what and it just completely lost me at that point question number six biggest surprise and that's got to be failure to communicate I was expecting a book about an autistic character I was not expecting a sci-fi that diverse or that good i was obsessed with it from the minute i started reading i loved the autism representation which is something that's very very dear to me i loved all of the female characters supporting each other i loved all the different diverse characters we got from like poc people to lgbt plus people and people in religious headdress and stuff like that they were just throughout the book and all of the characters even into species characters and stuff were all so supportive of each other and I wasn't used to seeing women supporting women in books and stuff and it was just unbelievably wonderful I absolutely loved it and it was such a surprise to read considering I never even heard of it until the author wanted more people to review it and I decided to read it it was amazing and i highly recommend it to everybody question number seven newest favorite author jay christoph seriously i've only ever read nevernight and i started illuminate but then it screwed with my mind and my dyslexia and stuff so i had to give up but the storyline on both of them was so good and so well written i absolutely loved it and i will buy anything that man writes seriously i will buy anything that man writes now 
Seriously, I just, he's amazing. Question number eight, newest fictional crush. Kaz Brecker. I mean, do I really need to say anything else apart from Kaz Brecker? I haven't even read Crockett Kingdom yet. I'm planning on reading it at the end of this month to tie in with Ocean's 8's release. But seriously, Kaz Brecker. Need I say more apart from Kaz Brecker? Question number nine, newest favourite character? Legion. And I know I talk about Legion quite a lot because I watch the TV show and I'm not talking about the TV show because that's from last year and I love the TV show. It's a complete mind screw and I'm very, very confused most of the time and I love Dan Stevens. I'm talking about comic book Legion. I've only read one of his comics, Prodigal, and I love him. I love how sarcastic he is. I love how he views the world and how he tries to help people but sometimes goes a bit wrong and I love his troll doll hair I love the troll doll hair it's one of my favorite things and I just felt very very sorry for him as well compared to like how the x-men treat him and things I just felt very very sorry for him and to be honest he just wanted to do the right thing and the x-men wouldn't let him do the right thing and I just absolutely loved him in the comics I think I prefer TV version but comic book version is adorable and I love him. Question number 10 is a book that made you cry and no book has made me cry this year because I'm emotionally numb. <laughs> I literally, no book has made me cry this year. I've had books that have affected me emotionally but if I am gonna say a book that sort of really sort of affected me, I'm gonna say A Quiet Girl in a Noisy World. It didn't make me cry but I did feel incredibly like moved by it because it was so on point for how I feel quite a lot of the time and it was so relatable and it was like one of the first times I'd read a book with an introverted character who I totally understood so I'm gonna have to say that one because it moved me quite a lot it didn't bring me to tears but it did move me question number 11 is a book that made you happy Illuminati the all new Avengers Illuminati because I read it just before I went to see Infinity War and it had so many characters in there that I'd always wanted to meet and they were dealing with Infinity Stones and finding Infinity Stones and just it was the first time I had seen Stephen Strange interact with Tony Stark and um, Charles Xavier and Mr Fantastic which was amazing it introduced me to two new characters as well which was great because I hadn't even heard of them apart from the Inhuman whose name I've now forgotten but he was also in there along with Namor and I'd never seen those two so that was really really interesting but to be honest it was just seeing them finding Infinity Stones and interacting with each other it just made me ridiculously happy to read and it was so great and it, it just made me imagine watching it all happen on screen at some point hopefully after the merger and it just made me ridiculously ridiculously happy to read. Question number 12 is a favourite book adaption you've seen this year. Thing is I haven't seen any book to film adaptions this year unless you count Black Panther and Infinity War and if you do I haven't read those original comics. I've read um, A Nation Under Our Feet by Bla for Black Panther and I haven't read anything to do with Thanos ever so I can't really count those. I haven't seen Love, Simon even if I had I hadn't read the book so I couldn't tell you if that was really good as in a book to film adaption you'd have to ask other booktubers and readers in general if that was a good adaption and to be honest I haven't really seen any yet because all the ones that are coming out this year that I'm really really interested in are coming out in the second half of the year. So for this I'm just going to have to say that I'm very very excited to read and watch Mortal Engines and The Jungle Book because I like The Jungle Book but this one's got some of my favourite actors in and it looks quite scary and quite dark which I'm very 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 excited for and Mortal Engines just looks really good and really steampunk. I've read one of Philip Reeves other novels, it was one of my childhood favourites and I'm just generally very excited for those two. Question number 13 is favourite book review you've written this year? Um, I haven't done that many. One of my New Year's resolutions actually was to do more book reviews and I have spectacularly failed at that because I've been too busy reviewing TV shows and films and I really shouldn't, I really should be doing more book reviews because that's what I promised to do. But I have to say 
My favourite has to be Nevernight so far. I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. But I did really, really like my review of Nevernight. And if I can't say that one, I'm going to say Eve of Man by Tom and Giovanna Fletcher, which was my latest one. I'll leave a link to both of them down below if you want to check either of those out. They're on my blog, and I really liked how I wrote them and stuff, and I felt like I really got into the flow of it, so I'm going to say those two. Question number 14 is the most beautiful book you've either bought or received this year. There's no question. Look at it. The Beast's Heart. Look at how gorgeous the cover is, with the gates and the gold shiny bit, and the writing, and it's even on the back. It's just absolutely beautiful, and... I'm obsessed, quite frankly. I'm completely and utterly obsessed and I haven't even read it yet. I'm really scared that if I don't like this book, I'm going to be really, really disappointed. But at the moment, I just really love the cover. Finally, question number 15. And what books do you have to read before the end of the year? Again, The Beast's Heart, to start with, I will be really angry with myself if I haven't read this by the end of the year. Crooked Kingdom as well, because I haven't read it yet and I really, really want to. Um, I'm reading it at the end of the month though. Mortal Engines, again, because the film's coming out and I'm very, very excited for it. Percy Jackson as well. I've read the first one. I just need to finish the rest of the series. The Last Magician. I've had this on my TBR for a very long time. I just bought it at the beginning of May because it's the first time I'd seen it in real life and couldn't resist it. And it just sounds really, really good and I've been looking forward to it for a very long time. I'm also going to say Vicious. Um... I know I said I can't afford the sequel, but I will find a way, I'm not kidding, I will find a way to buy that book, because I really want to read these two, because they just sound amazing. Jungle Book as well, because the Jungle Book's obviously coming out this year, and I want to read it before I go and see the film, which it's based off of. I also want to read Odd and True, I've had that since last year, still haven't read it yet. And also City of Ghosts by V.E. Schwab, because... Again, it's V.E. Schwab, it's about ghosts, it's a middle grade novel, and I'm just very, very excited for it. But that's the end of the tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've read any of the books that I've mentioned or seen a really, really good book to film adaption. I'll also leave the links down below to all of my social media and my blog where I should hopefully be doing more reviews like I keep on saying I'm going to down below as well if you want to check that out. And if you want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here and over here will be the link to my previous video but until next time guys bye